Okay, so you need to update or, or download uh, Adobe's um, Adobe Reader product. Um, the easiest way to do that and the fastest way to do that, the safest way to do that is to go directly to adobe.com go down a little bit towards the right you'll see get Adobe Reader and it will begin the download process momentarily. At this point we're going to uncheck the free Google toolbar. I'm not a big fan of having extra toolbars in my browser and I've got uh, user account control popping up. You may or may not be able to see that on your screen. It's asking me do I want to allow the following program to make changes? Yes and it down, begins the download uh, process. Now this is a fairly decent little DSL connection. I've worked on faster, I've worked on slower, but it, today I'm working on a decent connection that's allowing me to download fairly quickly, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, if you're not familiar with Adobe Reader and you're trying to figure out why you need it, it allows you to open what's called a PDF document, commonly used in the legal field, um, used uh, to allow people to review contracts, etc. And of course they have to give you a little advertisement along the way. So it is beginning the download progress our process rather and uh, we can see here where it says download installation progress this is something this uh, Adobe download manager that's interesting I'm gonna cancel out of that and let it let it do its thing one of the things I've noticed by the way and we're gonna take an aside since it just did this is um, Adobe uh, uh, the Adobe website just refreshed because it supposedly stopped responding in Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer 8, whether it's on Windows XP or, or uh, Windows Vista or Windows 7, I've noticed has some annoying habits in it. And since this is the native installation, I'm going to go ahead and download it in Internet Explorer, but that's one of the things I notice about Internet Explorer is it ha has a tendency to reset the tab and refresh the page fairly frequently. So here we have the download is up to 14% and it's going to run through the actual installation. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to pick up in just a moment with the download as we go.